Hello everyone and welcome to the series of videos where we will be discussing the Python as a programming language. Python is one of the easiest programming language that you can come across and it is uh, used in various fields. For example, it can be web development, it can be software development, it can be various kinds of different applications that you might want to develop and Python is one of the most powerful as well as the simple programming language that is possible for these kind of applications. Now here we will be starting with the Python and we will be starting with the very basics and I we will try to make it as simple as possible and the learning path will be like this first of all we will be studying the basics of Python and then after completing the entire Python programming course we will start with machine learning so we'll start with the basic Python programming and let us see what can you do with the Python programming what is the easiest kind of code possible so we'll start with the numbers here and as you can see in, in on your screen we are using the Python shell so we are using Python 3.7.2 and uh, we will be programming here so initially that thing that you can come across is the Python is so easy and simple that you can even use the Python programming this tool or IDE of the Python programming to perform simple kind of calculations for example you want to perform calculations on some numbers just for example you have basic mathematical operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division let us assume i want to add two numbers it can be 2 plus 2 just write 2 plus 2 and press enter now you can see the result is 4 and they are already showing the result so here we got two lines this is the first line which are having uh, three marks here which can be greater than equal greater than marks if you are having three marks here that means you are writing an expression and the result will be displayed like this you can perform addition subtraction multiplication so easily for example 2 plus 2 is 4 in the same way i want to multiply 2 multiplied by 3 press enter you will get 6 that is simple division in python uh, multiplication in python a part of this you can also perform division for example 3 divided by 2 that is going to give us 1.5 and this result is in floating point number you can also perform a uh, subtraction operation maybe 2 minus 3 that is going to be minus 1 so that is a subtraction operation in the same way you can also make some complicated expressions for example we have 2 plus 3 divided by 2 that is going to be 3.5 or you can you might want to say something like this opening bracket 50 minus 5 multiplied by 6 divided by 4 so this is a little bit complicated expression just press enter the result will be displayed now this result is displayed in terms of floating point numbers for example you have 8 divided by 5 now 8 divided by 5 the result is 1.6 and this 1.6 is displayed in terms of floating point number there might be some expressions where the result uh, is to some extent decimal notations for example let us suppose i want to make 10 divided by 3 so you can see uh, the entire result is displayed to some decimal precision in the same way if i want to display something like this 17 divided by 3 so the result will be displayed like this but sometimes you want to round off the result to the nearest uh, non-fractional part i mean to say if i do 10 divide double divide by 3 so here we are using two division part if you just press enter it is going to show the floor value of this as you can see here 10 divided by 3 is 3.333 something if I am using double division marks it is going to give us a floor value which is the uh, smallest integer value which is very close to this that is 3 in the same way you can also perform power operator for example 5 if I just use simple star so that is going to do multiplication but if I use 5 double star 2 5 double star 2 now this double star operator means 5 raised to power 2 or you can say 5 square if I just press enter it is going to show 25 in the same way I can also do 2 double star 7 that is 2 raised to power 7 and this 2 raised to power 7 is a number which is 128 just press enter you can see the number 128 in the same way you can also use some variables let us suppose I want to use a variable which is width equals to 20 
now press enter in the same way i can create a variable which is height equals to let us suppose 5 multiplied by 9 just press enter now this width and height both are variables and you do not explicitly have to deliver declare variables but as soon as you uh, assign them values they will be automatically declared as variables we will be having a detailed discussion over variables soon but just i want to show how simple the python is i can just do width multiplied by height and it is going to show us the result which is 900 so sometimes you want to define a variable sometimes you do not want to define a variables everything works that way so you can create simple applications you can create complicated applications like this now sometimes you also want to remember some values for example i want to create text is equal to 12.5 divide by 100 this is some calculations i want to make price equal to 100.50 i want to make price multiplied by text so which is you got the tax so this is saying that tax is 12.5 percent price of the item is 100.50 and here how much tax will be applied on this item now i can also use something like this price plus under scroll now when i'm using under scroll now this under scroll is used to add the previous value with this price so here you can see the previous value is 12.56.25 if I do price plus previous value, so that is 13.0625. So this underscroll is actually used if you want to use the previously calculated value. In the same way, uh, now here the previously calculated value is 113. So if you want to use it, so you can do round. For example, this is a round off number. Round underscroll, that is the previously calculated value, which is 113.0625. And you want to round it off to two decimal places so to just press enter it will round the previously calculated value with two decimal places so this way you can use simple numbers to evaluate in pythons now let us look at simple strings in terms of python 